worldwide. Hello everyone, I'm TG and I'm here talking about Resident Evil Reverse. We got a new patch and a brand new character named Night Howl, one of Chris's boys from Village. Again, like Tundra, not really what we wanted, but hey, it's what we got and the good news is he is much better than Tundra, much, much better than Tundra. He's actually a lot of fun to play. So what I want to do today is show you guys the coins I'm using because I found this great build with him that makes him basically unkillable and it's just so much fun. So let's dive right in and see what we're talking about. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to be using Human HP Booster and Dodge Recovery Booster because unlike other males in the game, Night Howl only gets two dodges, so he really does need that, and he's a little bit squishy. But I'm also going to be using Automated Drone Damage Booster and Sonic Disruption Pod Suppression Enhancer. And you really don't need to look at any other coins to do with his abilities because this is all he needs. The reason is his mobile drone and his suppression pod, the cooldown is so short that you can actually put another one down before it even expires. So the only time you're not gonna have it up and thus not triggering your passive is if somebody destroys either of them and that happens very, very rarely. Basically, the strength of this build is creating a little mobile fortress for you. You don't wanna stand all in one place because if you're standing in one place, typically you're not getting any points. But since the cooldown on these abilities are so short, you can actually keep your fortress on the move. So you're always gonna be getting a passive defensive bonus and you're almost always gonna have that suppression pod down. So when someone's chasing you, First of all, it stuns them briefly. Then it makes their screen all jiggity janked. And on top of that, they can't see their reticle. So you're gonna put them down absolutely no problem. It doesn't work on creatures, but what it does do for creatures is stop them from seeing your thermal outline. And lastly, the boost to your automated drone damage is gonna push the damage up from 50 to about 60-ish. And of course that can't crit, but it's very, very good for locking people down. It really is distracting because nobody in this game has a particularly large health pool. So you're gonna see a lot of kills coming from the drone. And finally, my little sleaze bags. When it comes to the creature coins, I'm using my standard setup, creature HP booster, creature longevity extender, and creature HP stabilizer. I've done a lot of testing with the other coins and really this is where it's at. It's pretty much all I've used since I switched to it because it gives your creatures that extra little bit of oomph where you're not going to do as much damage, but you're going to last longer. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is the build. I hope you try it out yourself, and I hope it helps you out just a little bit because Night Howl is a lot of fun, so I can see a lot of people using him in the future because he really is a different way to play the game. <laughs> now, of course, if Capcom wanted to step it up and fix the MMR, fix the game, fix the latency issues, we might actually be having a little bit of fun, but the less I talk about that, the better. Check me out on Reddit if you want to see my thoughts on that one. And uh, don't forget, guys, subscribe if you are new around here, and I will see you all very, very soon.